So hello and welcome everybody to today's Sunday update about Bitcoin. We take a quick look at the Bitcoin chart um, on the daily and then we take a look at the shorter time frame chart and on the daily chart we can see that Bitcoin continues to be in this sideways range. I don't want to talk too much about the daily chart. Situation hasn't really changed. What we'd like to see is in the coming week that the price um, yeah, ideally shows a more noticeable reaction here to this support area and if the price can form a five wave move up from here from this last low or maybe one more low forms but from here we need a five wave move up to indicate or to get an indication that wave c to the upside in the white scenario has started i'm not telling you that we will see it because actually what i think is probably more likely at least at the moment and that will be my view until i see such a five wave move that we're forming at least a wider correction. So something like an A, B, C, and then the price would have another chance to rally from there. For me, that 55,480 level is the absolute key pivot that distinguishes between the short-term bullish count and the short-term bearish count. So we talked in previous videos about the idea that a larger degree wave four could have completed here on the 5th of August and that we could now be in a fifth wave to the upside, you know, two new all-time highs. Literally like this, one, two, three, four, five. The thing is that at the moment there is no evidence for it. There is no evidence because while we have recovered a little bit from the 5th of August low, the reaction is not impulsive and not even, not even a five wave move. So that's why we need for confirmation that really a wave four bottomed on the 5th of August, we need a five wave move in circle one filled in. We're far away from that at the moment. We at the moment only formed a three wave move up and the third wave isn't even long enough to be called a third wave in a diagonal. So it's only like a third wave sort of halfway there, right? Okay, so um, however we did say as long as the price is holding above 55,480, the white count has a chance. This is the key support area here. Price reacted to it already. Could be that we've already started this B wave, absolutely. Um, but that will become clear next week, okay? if, if anything. I mean, I explained it, I think, yesterday and said like, you know, it is possible that for the coming weeks until we get the US election result, the market will just hover above the support area. <laughs> it is possible. And until we get a bit of a decision because the market is really here in between two scenarios in this weird gray area where we haven't really confirmation that the white count is unfolding and the yellow is possible, but we're holding above support for the white count. So they are both possible, but we haven't seen any five wave move to the upside really since the 5th of August low. So yeah, yellow count allows for a deeper wave four, still overall bullish, but it would take much longer to get to that all time high. And in this case, support is between 43K to 49K. That means all eyes need to be on this support area in the coming weeks or in the coming week. Yeah. Now, if the third wave in white is unfolding indeed, then the third wave should get to around about 74K, the 138% extension. We haven't reached it yet. So that would be something for wave C of three to do. But I need a five wave move up from the low, from any low to confirm that this is unfolding. Looking at the smaller time frame, we can see that we are still moving in this sort of consolidation pattern I showed you yesterday. Technically, I'd say it looks a bit like a continuation pattern to the upside, so I cannot rule out another high, even in this internal wave four. I did tell you, you know, this is more like noise, really. Um, I mean, we have an initial resistance area. The price hasn't broken above it. However, there hasn't really been any rejection from it. Well, there has been, but not anything strong. So at the moment, I'm still watching for the potential for another low, but this wave four that we were tracking gets now quite extended. Yeah, I mean, we were watching for a rally into resistance and it's been happening, but it would be ideal now for the bears to turn up if one more low is forming. So it's just that if we break above 63,095, which I see as a key pivot that distinguishes between yellow wave four, which could result in one more low in yellow wave five, okay, and a larger B wave. So that's the key pivot. If we break above that key pivot, then 
I see this as a B wave rally instead of a wave four rally. It's just a different label then. At the moment, the trend is still up. So we're just hovering just below that key resistance for that fourth wave, showing that the bears are kind of respecting or the bulls actually are kind of respecting this resistance area. But I haven't got any confirmation for a top. Okay, so at the moment I can keep that wave count here on the chart. Just note that any break above 63,095 will mean that I see this as a B wave, which I think is quite likely. Um, obviously we need to, this is the one hour chart, so we have to assess the microstructure, you know, from let's say <laughs> hour to hour, uh, it can change easily. So for example, had we seen a five wave decline as a reaction to that resistance area, it would be more clearly bearish. But the price has only formed a three wave move down so far. What would then be an indication that we've actually topped there? I would want to see a break below 60,820, which is the Friday low. Yeah, and that's so far everything I can tell you about Bitcoin. Today we've got our 5 p.m. member live stream again, where we cover a lot of requests. If you have any coin requests, you can ask them in our member live stream. If you're interested in signing up, you can do so. Below the video, there's a link. Also, yesterday I shared a video about Tau. I know a lot of you are interested in Tau BitTensor. Shared that on YouTube, not on YouTube, on Twitter. So if you're interested in that, you can find that on our Twitter channel. There are plenty of other updates there as well. Um, you find it uh, on our, yeah, just in, in, in the video description. So make sure you just follow the channel with a blue check mark. Okay, that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.